Okay. It's all you, uh, Matt. All right. Three, two, one. Could there be a common source for the megalithic ruins in the jungles of Mesa America to the great Egyptian Giza pyramid? Were the Anunnaki possibly the missing creators of these advanced cultures, hidden by the sands of time, jungles, and the editorial records inked by warring conquistadors? These giant stone heads that are shown here in this slide were very much a mystery in Mexico. And they lead you back to an amazing story that uh, clearly had origins in, in Northern Africa. So this place had a lot of draw to me, and, I, and we love the jungle anyway. And so we went there in April to get a first-hand look at it and see if this was a place we wanted to hold a conference and, uh, and also do a deep dive on uh, the constructs, the temple, the palace, and see what we could glean for ourselves, knowing that Quetzalcoatl Thoth clearly had this as a headquarters. Could we be experiencing universal consciousness now in accordance with our solar system passing through the energetic band as predicted by the Maya? So tonight, uh, we're going to go into uh, three different books and kind of do some high-level hillbilly correlation of learning stuff that uh, only people like us really seem to like to do that. Uh, but, I mean, we encourage other people to read the stuff that we're reading, too, and I think a lot of times it gets shared uh, with others on, on the Decoders of Truth. I share it. Matt shares it as well. So we're going to do something a little special tonight and go into kind of some of the deep uh, issues that come out of these really historic and wonderful books. And uh, so I'm really grateful that you three decided to read this stuff. And Jay's, Jay's a reading machine, so we, we have to really keep putting the books on the bedstead and keep up with them and take our starfire gold. So, <laughs> so the first... The first the legends are in the house, ladies and gentlemen. Matthew LaCroix, Gerald Clark, and Jay Campbell. I can't keep up with these guys. I mean, just insane geniuses in the house. So excited. And we're going to break down the Anunnaki like never before. This is going to get so deep, you may consider buying a submarine because the amount of knowledge that we're going to share with you, it's going to go like a black hole. I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to have some fun today. Oh, no, it's, and- it's going to sink your it's going to sink the ship. Sink the ship. We ain't, we're going to sink the ship of darkness and create the Thoth archetype through the opportunities of light. And really, it's an honor to speak with you guys again. It's great to have the old crew back together. Gerald, you're like so far out there in the middle of nowhere that every once in a while you do leave your monastery. And it's like you, you have this glow. It reminds me of the Renaissance um, images that you see this like halo, right? That's surrounded like, nee. so, so let's get into some awesomeness here. How are you guys doing, man? This is awesome. Great. I, I have to say, Gerald does take on one of those Sumerian Anunnaki looks with that long beard, doesn't he? I, I need this braided though, you know, like those nice little, uh, like uh, cornrows, That's, and it would look better, I think. So I did it to one of my characters in the movie and I thought it looked pretty cool. So I might, I might try it out. I'm going to really push you on this last one. Thank you so much, guys. Until the next show. Austin Manana. <laughs>